How you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, Tom Cruise is the nicest guy. Mm -hmm. I've been fortunate enough to interview him a few times. Remembers me, makes no sense. You've known him for many years. Yes. Uh, can you share a story that just demonstrates how ridiculously nice Tom is, whether it be on set or in real life? Yeah, when I when I first joined the IMF back in 2006, I basically had one day of shooting that grew into two eventually, but the first scene I did was the scene when I'm just explaining the rabbit's foot, the anti-god, all that stuff, big speech, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, and the ne the afternoon was me basically sort of like directing him around Shanghai when he's he's in Shanghai and I'm helping him, I'm being his GPS. And which I always credit as the moment when Benji thought, oh, I like this, this is, I like this adventure, I'll join, I'll become an agent. That was my, for my Stanislavskian motivation for what Benji did next. And Tom said to me that afternoon, he said, do you want me to come and do offlines? And I said, what? And he said, I'll come back and I'll read my stuff from Shanghai um, off camera so that you've got, you know, you can do the lines. And I was so impressed um, that he said that because he's Tom Cruise. He doesn't need to be doing that kind of stuff. You know, the first AD will often do offlines, even for great actors who just can't be there on the day. But he offered to come back. And now, knowing him as I have done for 12 years, I realized that that was absolute bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it was not the punchline I was expecting. <laughs> um, uh, this must have been, a, listen, the movie's fantastic. When you think back on making Fallout, which was wrapped last week, um, these, these things never will get done early. No. Uh, what's a day that you will never forget? Oh, I mean, so many on this one. It was, it was such a kind of, um, I mean, on and off camera, it was an extraordinary experience. I saw it last night in the same audience as you did, actually. Myself and Henry and Angela were sat at the back. I kind of figured the back row was reserved. I'm like, oh, the cast is coming tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent a lot of the time just grabbing Henry by the bicep, uh, half because I was very tense and half because it just feels great, you know? Um, it was just an extraordinary experience from top to bottom. And, I, and you know, from, from being on set, the day when Tom did the sequence where he fell from the helicopter onto the, um, to the cargo bag, spoiler alert, um, Rebecca and I were on the ground watching it and no one told us that that was what was gonna happen. As far as we knew, he was climbing up the rope. So Rebecca and I are watching that going, oh, I don't know, why does he do that? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> they thought people going home early today. Um, which was kind of scary. We both kind of grabbed each other like, Tom's gonna die! Um, but um, yeah, and I remember the day when we said goodbye on, 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 in New Zealand when we, they were gonna do the aerial footage next week. Tom and Henry and Chris were remaining behind. Me and Rebecca were going home. And we sort of said goodbye at the airfield. And it was really like, I might not see you again. You know, there was a real sense of like, this could all go really horribly wrong. And, and, it, and, and, and we were joking about it and then it started to get a bit real and weird and there was some kind of very patty hugs and then, okay, okay, bye then. And it was horrible. And then I remember all that week being at home just thinking, oh God, is they gonna be okay? But thankfully. Uh, I'm gonna play quickly this thing called Random Questions. Yes. Here we go, we're gonna go through it quick. Go for it. What TV show would you like to guest spot on? Um, Westworld. Uh, do you have a favorite, I already know this, do you have a favorite sci-fi or fantasy film? Yes, I do. <laughs> Ex Machina. Okay, I like that answer. What film scared you as a kid? Um, as a kid, I think probably, well, definitely The Shining, uh, and also um, uh, The Omen, which I saw a little bit too early. Uh, what do you collect? Um, not as much as I used to, let's say that. Um, m my wife has no time for it. Uh, <laughs> what movie or TV show props do you own? Oh man, I've got Ankar Plutt's nose. I've got um, various bits and bobs from the Starship Enterprise, obviously, and Chris Pine, who I keep in a glass box. Why wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> what, would be, what, what, be, what would people be surprised to learn about you? Um, that I'm not as much of a nerd as everyone thinks I am. <laughs> but you have Chris Pine locked up in your house. I, don't say, I didn't say it was locked, I just keep him in a glass box. Okay. It's, uh, he's free to leave, he chooses to stay. Of course. Uh, what TV show have you watched all the way through more than once? Oh, that's a really good question. I would say probably Lost, actually. Although not, not necessarily the whole series, but I've certainly watched seasons of Lost more than once. Yeah, that's a fantastic show. Particularly season one, which when I got the, this is ties into Mission Impossible. When I got, when JJ called me about Mission Impossible 3, 
and said, would you like to be in it? And for, for me at that time, he was the alias guy. You know, I didn't know him beyond that. Um, he said, I've just finished this show. Um, I'll send it to you and you can watch it to get an idea of what I'm about. And he sent me the whole of the first season of Lost on individual blank DVDs, you know. And I, I binged watched the whole first season, one after the other, because I could. And, um, and that was my first ever binge watch of anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I love that show. Yeah. Um, what is the background photo on your phone? My daughter. Uh, what movie have you watched more than 10 times? For you, it might be 20. Yes, probably. I mean, the three first Star Wars films and, um, and most of Spielberg's films, E.T., Raiders, I've seen all those more than 10 times. Uh, what's your favorite pair of sneakers or shoes? These oh. slow wear 51s. Are those really your favorites? Yeah. Uh, uh, do you remember, actually, the last question, do you remember what got you interested in the entertainment industry? Like, what made you want to do what you're doing? Probably my mom, you know, because she, uh, she was involved in, in amateur drama, community theater, as I believe it's called in the US. And um, I used to go down to the theater with her and watch her performing and, and, and used to love it and, and had a hankering to be an actor, a theater actor at that. Uh, on that note, sir, congratulations on Fallout. It is fantastic. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. Because you were because I was too adrenalized. Oh, because we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you let me sleep? Right, exactly.